So this is Neil Mitra, who has been in advertising for more than 25 years. So Neil, why don't you give us a brief synopsis of your career and your main motive for choosing advertising? Mm, synopsis, uh, like, see, I, I chose advertising to an extent because uh, when I was in college, my dad, he was he was already in advertising of sorts. Basically, he was uh, handling the marketing for his company. So, you know, one got a hint of what the business is, just watching what he's doing. And then uh, did college, finished college, did university, finished university. And yeah, I uh, chose to become a copywriter after that. And that's what went around giving copy tests in those days. Finally got a job in a place called Image Ads. So I was there for a couple of years, then moved to events, in fact. And in events, I worked in a company called Plus Events, which was a part of Plus Channel. And then from there, moved to a company called Wizcraft, which uh, I think even now is one of the biggest uh, event companies in India. And in like right through, I was doing uh, uh, creative in the sense copywriting. And uh, that's it. Then from there, I moved to Dubai. This would be in like 2000. So in Dubai, again, I worked with the agency or two. And then around, uh, I think, about 10 years back, started my own uh, company, which is called Carpadium Communication. And that's it. One's been with Carpadium Communication since then. So we at Carpadium Communication, we do a lot of work for the hospitality industry, which is hotels primarily. So and yeah, that's about it. All right. So how do you feel that technology and startups will impact advertising soon, sooner or later? Uh, see, in advertising, I mean, in my uh, work life, technology has pretty much changed slowly. Right in the beginning when I started, it was mostly print, you know, for magazines, newspapers. Then slowly it uh, moved to uh, television. So everything became the big screen. Then after that, it's been, uh, I mean, last many years, it's been the small screen, the mobile phone. So, and that's how uh, work-wise, that's the medium has changed. Technology pretty much has uh, stayed the same. The tools we've been using, uh, particular software and stuff, that's pretty much stayed the same. But right now, uh, for the small screen, the mobile phone, I think the technology is much simpler. There are a lot of tools that are easily available. I think with a little practice, most people can use it, which is why uh, everyone is on social media, you know, broadcasting their videos and stuff. And that's what works now because it's more visual less text nobody reads everyone wants to see so that's how it how it is now and i don't know i can't hear you all right yeah all right so what guidance do you have for someone a student uh what guidance do you have for someone of a student who is looking to pursue a career in advertising uh, see, in my time, uh, it was a little different. Now, I think either, I mean, a lot of advertising uh, you require, I don't know, like there are a lot of courses available. It's, uh, I, in fact, I, I uh, before starting off, I had done a course. This was at Xavier's Institute of Communications. It was a one-year diploma. But, I mean, uh, that time didn't help much, but yeah, it's good to have some. Uh, that time it was good to have something like that. But right now, I think uh, within advertising, you need to be an MBA and 
you have to have some marketing experience then uh, for creative like uh, i mean in creative there is your writing and design design i think if you have a art background or you know some skill set in not necessarily drawing but uh, just uh, artistic uh, i have been people to explain that i mean it, it's uh, the creative side is not something you can learn it's you can practice yes so and i think there are plenty of uh, courses now plenty of opportunities now so and yeah you have to be perseverant because it's very competitive now and that's it i mean can't think of anything else all right so how do you measure success um very simply put uh, i mean happy client you know uh, seeing the work that you have done making a difference literally it could be uh, a successful promotion for the client some level of rise in sales and more than anything else memorability like it's remembered that would be my measure of uh, success and of course satisfaction of a job that was done well all right so thank you neil thank you for your time yeah pleasure you have a good thing with this project all the best